Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we're on no man's land, uh, working on clearing the entire map. Got a bit of an idea for this series, I want to do some huge scale farming, but I don't really want to have to work my way up for this one, I just want to start out big and do it all, so I don't know any better way to do this, I'm sure there are, but I'm just walking through and using easy dev controls to delete every tree that's kind of like freestanding. I'm going to leave the clumps of trees every once in a while together because that kind of adds some character to the map. But we will eventually be plowing this entire map up and planting various crops on it, doing some stuff. And yeah, it should be a good time. Thought about live streaming this, but uh, just didn't have the time to set that up. So right now I'm just going to brute force it off camera and um, if we want to live stream later on we can. I'll leave the rocks as well. I know some people have done similar things but they've gotten rid of all the rocks and every single tree kind of made the entire map farmable. I'm not really for that right now. I'm just trying to get rid of all these various little stragglers. So I will catch up with the progress update when we get closer. Pretty much got this little corner down here done already and I figured since it's going to be kind of hard to keep track of everything, I ought to get a plow because I'm going to eventually, you know, plow the entire field map. Uh, so I should just run some laps around these little bunches of trees and start the perimeter lap so I can kind of keep an eye on what I've done and what I haven't. So obviously you have to run the 715, don't you? I've never actually used this thing before, so I'm super excited. I think we're going to go with some 36 inch tracks let's give her the weights could do like gray should we do gray let's do it and then we're gonna need a plow just gonna run this one for now it's the easiest one to do it's the biggest one I got 16.7 meters and it'll pull nine mile an hour which is sweet permanently remove all trees permanently remove all rocks. Do I want to do that or not? I'm going to be honest, that would save me a ton of time. So let's go ahead and buy ourselves a chainsaw. Can't believe I was going to do all that by hand. Okay, so now all the trees are gone. We just kind of get things set up here. I think what I'm going to do we're going to try and leave this main road here and just trace all along it. At least up until kind of the main farm area on field 26. I'll leave all these support roads, or I mean I'll plow them up. I may make myself a road all the way to the end, just so we've got a road all the way through. I may not. Let's just give ourselves a bit of room here. Drop the thing down and boom, we're off. I may have to do some fixing of the landscaping and whatnot kind of make it uh, more leveled out and stuff especially where the rocks and trees were it's definitely going to need some fixing but yeah for the time being we're just going to turn off the HUD and fly through this thing
we've made it all the way kind of up and around you can see it's not a straight shot at all there's a lot of mountains uh, and hills and stuff that we can't actually uh, plow on so this is kind of what it's going to look like I did actually get a tractor down here it's the Steiger the old prototype Steiger with 650 horsepower um, I just wanted to have two of them. I, pro I probably can't use them both at the same time very well. But uh, yeah, I've got them. <laughs> now I'm going to do some GPS here. And I've got GPS hooked up. And I'm going to want to save that one to the farm. So now I can use that with the other one, the other Steiger. And I can have them both hooked up to the same GPS thing if I want to just hop in one. Uh, this is absolutely huge. It's just a normal size map uh, from what I know, but uh, it is the entire map. So yeah, it'll take a while to, to plow the whole thing up. I'm going to leave probably all these rocks here and then maybe these as well. And then I will leave this pond, but the rest of it should be, you know, maybe some of these will be too big to kind of smooth out, but most of them I'll just be smoothing them out. You know, there is some slight hills to the, to the map. As you can see, it's not perfectly flat, which is good. I think it would look kind of boring if it was all flat. So, But I'll just put down some work and catch back up with you guys in a bit. I tell you, we've been making some good progress here. Um, I don't know, probably like a tenth of the way done. Probably closer than that, to be honest. Um, got two laps around the whole thing done and then I've also been going up and down here with the GPS uh, obviously this side isn't a straight edge this one is so I've kind of had to go in and fill back in so that's what I'm gonna do over here once we get this part done and I did put some GPS on the Steiger over there I guess they're both Steigers the prototype uh, it's like a prairie monster that thing's sweet uh, I'll be using that as well I may honestly grab a cultivator or like a speed disc because I want to also um, I want this to be smooth I don't I don't necessarily want to plant on a really bumpy surface so something like the flexicoil something huge that'll smooth everything out could be could be what I'm looking at there are mods like course play and follow me and stuff that you could use to uh, like get two workers to go at the same time like I could have that Steiger rolling while I'm going as well but I don't really know how they work to be honest so I'm kinda just gonna brute force it with one guy and then what I'm hoping is whenever the whole thing is plowed I can just press you know B to, to hire a worker and workers can do everything for me not completely obviously because workers can't run a grain cart or anything I do have course play I know how it works to an extent but that's when there's already a field and we're making our own field here. There's no actually pre-designated fields. So we'll just have to see how all that stuff works and maybe try and figure it out ourselves. But for now, we're just going to keep on keeping on with this GPS thing and the, the 715. Up ahead, we have our first obstacle we have to go around. Some rocks here. And um, I mean, I could flatten them, but I think at least for this first one, we're going to want to go around the major obstacles to kind of retain a little bit of the, G the DNA of the map. So we're going to cut it pretty close there, a little closer than I meant to. And we'll just swing it all the way around. And we'll do a full loop. If we had a smaller plow, we could go in there, but I think it's, it's safe to just go all the way around. And again, uh, the good news is, if we want to down the road, we can always just flatten the rocks and plow right over them to make the field like perfectly you know encompassing the entire map it's been going well i've been playing fallout 4 while i've got the gps running just straight up and down and it takes you know five ten minutes to get down to the other end which is <laughs> it's pretty crazy this is a large field i've never had a field this large Well, with this pass, I'm going to go ahead and switch things up. We're going to use the Steiger prototype instead of the 715. I'll just get this thing lined up. No, I'll put it over here, actually. I want to see kind of how far I got with each one. So I'll just park this on the last pass it did. 
And that's what we did with the 715, was that whole chunk. If we fire this bad boy up. And that should be pretty good to go. So I'm going to chill with the uh, prototype Steiger here for a little bit. Looks like it's backwards, kind of. It's an interesting looking tractor. Yeah, we'll rock with this for a little while and then... Yeah. Probably switch back to the quad track after a little while. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. Well, we're back after about an hour and a half of this, uh, just for a bit of a progress update. This is what we've got done. Uh, I've been doing strips up and down for a little while, and I did have a few rocks I had to go around. Uh, one thing, you can kind of see that little green patch out in the distance. That's the grape field that started. I plowed over it. It's gone, but um, it's still kind of there, so some sort of visual glitch going on with that. But yeah, we're I mean, we'll be halfway here before before too long, I think. It's been going pretty well. The Steiger is pretty neat. The prototype Panther. Just cruising along. Big old plow behind me. Rocking nine mile an hour. There's something therapeutic about it. It is a lot of work. <laughs> um... This tractor has nine or 1.8 hours. This one is 4.2, so that's a total of six hours. And um, yeah, we're not even halfway done. So uh, yeah, safe to say it's gonna take a while. And then once I'm done with this this episode, we're we're plowing. Next episode, I turn around and plant. <laughs> And then the one after that, I, I I don't know what I'll do, but there's no hope for me. <laughs> I'm, I'm spending 20 hours plowing a field, and then I, I do 20 hours planting a field, and then I do 20 hours harvesting a field, and then what do I do? I do it again. There is there is definitely something therapeutic about... about uh, just putting down putting down the acres but this is the kind of thing that would grind your mind into madness up and down and up and down <laughs> five ten minutes on each pass and then turn around and do it all over again if it wasn't for GPS this would be torture this GPS thing I just I don't even have to steer I can go and make a snack get back and I'm only halfway down the lane go and get a drink do some dishes you got like good five minutes before you gotta get to the other side harvesting is definitely gonna be a lot more difficult because I have to run grain grain carts but yeah I'm super excited the reason I did this I've seen a few other people do something similar to this uh, but they did it kinda unrealistically you know with really big working width and whatever else and this is semi-realistic uh, obviously this tractor was not a production tractor it's a prototype and uh, this plow you wouldn't really use it on this uh, what's it called CRP CDP land I forget the actual proper moldboard plow is a lot like more narrow and it's slower you can only go seven mile an hour so I just wanted to, to use this one still semi-realistic the reason I wanted to do it is, one, I wanted to see how much money you can make. How much money, if I planted this whole thing with wheat, how much money do I make? If I did corn, potatoes, sugar cane, <laughs> that would be torture. How much money do you make? That's, that's the question, and some people have set out to answer that, but again, they're, they're not doing it realistically, and I just kind of wanted to try it. Who knows how long it'll last. I may, I may just do one harvest and get tired of it, but uh, for the time being, this is what we're doing. And there's no question, like, I'll set my bank account balance to zero when we actually sell the stuff. 
so we can see how much we've made. But right now I have no worries about how much money I have. I can buy any tractor I want to. I could just come in here and I'm like, you know what? I'm tired of running this Steiger. I want to run a big old 9RX. So I just grab it and spec it how I want to. Boom, 670 horsepower, we're good to go, right? There's no, there's no question about affording anything. I can just do whatever I want. And that's, that's honestly, it's pretty relaxing to play that way, but I think it will get tiring eventually. We're on the home stretch now. Probably only three to five hours left, and then we'll be done plowing and can start to smooth the ground. Been using the quad track for quite a while. We're up to 7.2 hours on it. And the, oh, I bought the big bud for cultivating. Uh, my prototype Panther is at 3.4 hours. So total of 10.6 hours so far. Probably gonna be around 15 total hours, which is a little less than I was thinking, but uh, I'm not complaining. <laughs> this has been such a long project. I can't wait to start planting though, that's going to be exciting. Okay guys, big progress update. This is what the field is looking like. I did go the strips every other because it looks awesome <laughs> um, for the rest of that spot and so now we're just going to head back up and do it all again. This tractor right now is at 8.8 .8 hours. My prototype Panther is 3.5. Add those up, we get, what is that, 12.3, if my maths are correct, 12.3 hours, got to head down, um, I did get some new toys, <laughs> as I have unlimited cash, I'm just going to walk down and show you guys, we got the New Holland T9 700 with some tracks, the Borgo, uh, I think this is 100 foot, no, it's got to be more than that. Let's see what kind of working width it's got. Sorry, I get distracted. 30.5, so yeah, it's probably a 100 foot drill. Huge, huge thing. And then a giant seed cart behind it <laughs> that holds 45,000 liters. We also have the John Deere 9RX 620, which has the P576 air hoe behind it, or air drill, air hoe drill, yeah. And the C850 cedar cart behind it with the thick tracks on it because that looks nice. And then we've got um, Custom Modding's little tanker trailer behind it too, which has got liquid fertilizer and we've got the seed. This thing's just full of seed. There's only seed in this. And then we're carrying a fair bit of liquid fertilizer behind it. And then I've got three Case IH 24 row early riser planters pulled by three 470 Steigers. But two of them have the nice duals, narrow frame, and this is a narrow frame quad track. It's a row track, I guess is what the technical word for it, with 20, 21 inch tracks. And then these two planters just have the regular wheels on them, but the, the track Steiger is pulling a tracked planter. I just, I kind of wanted to run the track setup. And then, let's see here, also have the 747 Big Bud, I'm not sure if I've showed that or not, but yeah. That's got the big plow on it, and that's what we're going to be uh, plowing this all. Well, it's not a plow, sorry. Cultivator. And that's going to be cultivating everything. I mean, I could plant right on the plowed texture, but I kind of like it being smooth. It looks nicer, so that's what we're going to do. Just hop back in the quad track and get going. And I'll catch up back up with you guys when we are done, which is crazy. We're on the home stretch. It's the last pass, and we're getting pretty close to being done with it. I am so excited. It's been forever. Not as long as I thought it would be, actually, but, yeah, it's been such a long time. 10.3 hours on this quad track. 3.5 on that one, so that's 13.8 hours in total. Very nearly 14 hours to plow out this whole thing and it's not even the whole map right obviously there's a little bit up here with like a little mountain range on the left side and the top we may who knows we may eventually flatten all that and and plow the actual entire thing 
flatten these rocks and this pond and completely do the whole thing. Still don't know what I'm going to do about those grapes. I'll have to look on YouTube and see if there's a video or something to figure out how to get rid of that. I did leave the rolling hills and whatnot uh, on the field, which I feel like gives it so much more character than just being completely flat and stale. <coughs> Sorry. Stale is what I said. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm so close to being done, and it's awesome. I'll finally be able to retire these big old plows. Um, and I was thinking, I was going to have workers just do this. I've been doing GPS, which means I can only have one going at a time. But um, I was thinking I would have workers doing the, like, kind of cultivating on top of this to make it flat. But I don't think workers are going to be able to do it because it's already technically been cultivated, like it's already been tilled. This game is so weird. These tractors were all sitting normally, and they, like, bounced around a bunch. I did buy some more stuff. We'll get to that soon. This is weird. All right, so if I unfold this big old flux of coil, here's, here's the question. If I press B, is it going to do anything? Uh, looks like it will. Awesome. So, uh, never mind. I guess I will cultivate the whole thing. If workers are going to be able to do it, because I'm telling you, I'm not doing this whole thing with just one tractor. This is the biggest tractor in the world, and one of the bigger cultivators that I know of. But still, I ain't doing that whole thing freehand, so... I'm gonna... I'm gonna do the outer strip. And yeah, this thing does have problems with slippage like this. It's just... It's weird. So I probably won't use this one. I might use the Bednar Swifter. Or Swiffer or whatever. Unless this thing's doing fine. If it's going to be having all those issues and stuff, I don't want to use it. It kind of dances around back there. But I'm not doing all this while recording, so this will just be before planting. We'll have all this done. And then when planting time comes, that's when we're going to start the second episode of this kind of little fun series. I'm calling it full time or full map fun because yeah we're doing the whole map. I feel like that just makes sense and the first crop we're gonna do make sure to comment down below because I don't know if I want to do a cereal crop like wheat or barley or canola or if I want to do something like corn or soybeans or something so yeah just let me know what you guys want to see if I don't really get any comments which is pretty typical I'll just decide myself and plant stuff did get some grain carts that's what the uh, stuff back at the store is the big Balzer grain tanks and the some Kinsey mock till 412s the 12 meter 12 meter wide speed discs to accompany this flux of coil. This is so annoying, dude. Why can't it just track, like, perfectly behind it? It's gotta be, like, dancing around and sliding, and it's, like, angled right now. It, it just doesn't work properly. Anyways. I hope you guys did enjoy this one. It has been such a long time of working, so feel free to leave a like and subscribe. That would be greatly appreciated. I've put a lot of time in on this episode and honestly drove myself a little bit insane. But... I think the, the end profit where we're figuring out how much money we make from various different crops on this map, I think it'll be worth it. So I hope you guys do stick around and check out the next one when it comes out, as well as some of the other series on my channel. But that's all for me for now. I'll see you next time. Peace.